Hello, Scorpio. We have a counterpart here that you're finally recognizing all that they are to you because you're now coming out of the darkness of something else and are seeing more clear than ever. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. This is a Scorpio tarot reading for the second week of March 2021. I am already losing my voice in this reading. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Let's see what that's about. Let's see what we have for you guys for the second week of March. And there it is. Ah, out of darkness, number two. Kind of had a feeling that one would come out. This is a gray card. The first little blurb says something that has been troubling you, something dark within you or in your life is about to become something else. You won't see it coming, but when the time is right and it soon will be out of darkness will come new life. So this is, this, this very much feels like Scorpio energy. This is a transformative energy, which is something that, of course, Scorpios are at home about. Your card is the death card. Death, rebirth, transformation, of course. This is not second nature to you. It is first nature to you. No problem. But it feels like this particular transformation, it's either, it could be one of two things or both that I'm seeing here. I'm seeing one where getting out of a toxic situation and finding a loving one. <coughs> Excuse me. Voice is really going in this reading. Or it is, um, there is an unburdening here. There is a very significant unburdening here. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be family, friends. How you've been doing life up until now. And I'm seeing that the, if, okay, if you're leaving a previous relationship that is dark, dark, toxic, all those kinds of things, there is like a dark night of the soul kind of like nuance with that as well. Like it was an all in one kind of deal, which sounds really rough. Let's see what other, what card complements this energy. Mmm. Nothing is yet set in stone. All right. So the outcome is still yet to be determined. What is going on with Scorpio? And it's kind of the, the, those turbulent waves, actually. This turbulence feels like it is within this person, but they have that that neutral facade, not letting anyone know what's going on in their depths. What is going on with Scorpio? Ooh, the Empress. Okay. Not messing around. Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords. Interesting. Scorpio. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're not messing around. Okay. Scorpio, I'm going to read this side as you, this side as your person, and this is the situation. And the situation is your empress. This is someone you know. Not necessarily someone you have been in relationship with, but this is someone you know. 
and it looks like from the bottom here, this was someone upon first, like earlier in meeting, you were very, very attracted to. But after you went through your dark night of the soul, this turbulent situation, you now see her for all that she actually is to you. Okay, she's everything. She's Empress. And now there's some confusion on your end about what to do because you want to bring in these arrows of love because you have changed and you want to change the connection between you because it looks like she has moved on to other things as could have started as work, might have started as a third party. I, It's clear. <sighs> you worked well together. You click. You might get met with some cold steel when you come in, though. Just heads up. Okay. So let's see what's going on. All right. Let's expand on the Empress, please. The situation. Seven of Pentacles, Hierophant, big on the Taurus energy now. Three of Swords, Page of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Yep, there definitely is a past here. This person really is like some sort of master in your eyes because she's showing up as Empress Hierophant. It could just simply be a Taurus, but it's you view them as wise at something. It could be wise in general, but the truth is this person's art was broken in the past. There's the apology you wish to bring in and to rebalance this connection. So let's clarify the seven of cups, please. There you are. Death. Queen of cups. Oh, Queen of Rods. So you are choosing between two people. Choosing, choosing, choosing. Eight of Wands. Three of Wands. I'm feeling the... Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. So... Eight of Rods, Three of Rods, Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords, High Priestess, Ten of Wands. So you watched her walk away and you were pissed when she did it, but you actually get the reason, know why she did it. You know why she ended the cycle. She's the one that went, I'm putting this shit down now. And she was out, gone. Don't pick me, fine. I'm not staying. Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please. <laughs> Five of Wands. Strength. Four of Cups. Fool. Page of Swords. Okay. Something about money in there too. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Wands. So this Five of Wands is usually fighting with others. Sometimes it's just fighting in the self. And it looks like this is within you. Trying to gather the strength or get past pride in order to take advantage of this divine opportunity to begin again. So in order to do that, you started spying. What's she doing? Where's she at? Who's she with? Well, nothing is yet set in stone, right? Let's expand on the Six of Swords, please. Queen of 
Queen of Swords now. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Interesting. Scorpio. Look at you. Look at... Ooh, hey. Blowing up what happened before. I see there's... On your part, there's the healing of a mindset about relationship, about com commitment, what it's supposed to be and look like, and working on something new. Okay. So... Here she moved on. And then when you come in to bring, to gift her the Ten of Cups, essentially, congratulations, this is a twin flame connection. Um, this is something that is going to be met with the cold steel of her sword. Okay. So it's so cute that he's bringing out this small little pentacle, but it ends up being all these Ten of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> Like here, I just want to give you this small thing. It ends up being like a, an engagement ring, for example. It's something significant that's going to be significant to her. Three of Pentacles. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. So she's getting her money right. And you're watching her get her money right. And then because she's doing her, it's actually motivating you to get up off your throne and move this thing forward. I'm not seeing this six of pentacles as generosity or balance or any of that. I'm actually seeing this as, as that's her and these are the guys in her circle or town or whatever, just like flocking to her, like begging for a date. That's what gets you off your butt. <laughs> and makes you move 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 okay king of swords let's expand on the king of swords please oh that almost almost popped out three of pentacles again the star nine of wands justice five of swords four of wands Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, High Priestess, the Trifecta again. You know what's crazy is this feels like one person. There's, but because the Five of Cups is here, there's the regrets of having three people and not choosing. The thing is, is that this emperor is already ruler over the 3D world. Queen of Pentacles is too. But if he has the high priestess, which is you, then there's the ruler, a ruler of the 5D and the 3D world. Right? Yep, coming in. Wanting to apologize. Offering the love. Okay. <laughs> so... This person, again, there's the reiteration. They're getting, they're very focused on their money as well as their healing. They're still able to, in spite of the healing they've had to do because of the walking away from this, because this really did, this this broke their heart, okay? Even though they're the one that left, this broke their heart um, because she wasn't going to get what she needed, even when she asked for it, no matter what she did. And... Even though that happened, even though she's had to do a lot of healing, she still has hope that this Ten of Cups will exist for her. Okay. And Knight of Wands coming in, delivering justice. This this is a win for her. This this is a win for her. And justice for wands, that's also getting married. Okay. So what was it? Actually, let me use another full deck because there's a question I want to ask before we go to the extended. What was it that Scorpio was going through that made them not choose their empress? That's a good question, huh? Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it in a small triangle. See what we get. What were they going through? That made them not choose their empress. 
for the cross watchers out there. Chariot, World, Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Lovers. Okay, they were stubbornly holding on to the past situation, even though that the universe was trying to push the ending of this cycle too. Dragging their feet, not ending this loving partnership, being to the point of stubborn about it, because they can't be wrong. Trying to be logical about love. That shit doesn't work. Well, now you know. Okay, so if you are interested in messages from this person, I'm going to go on to the extended. We're going to see what's happening with her right now, presently in her life, as well as in the near future and the final outcome of this connection in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with words from her, advice from spirit, and timing, feel free to follow me at the link in the description box below to the extended, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.